Good afternoon everyone, my name is Claire Thomas and I'm going to give you a brief overview of the All Wales Medicine Strategy Group National Prescribing Indicators or MPIs and how they can link to Welsh Government or national policies and where you can go to find out further information. So AWMSG endorsed the National Prescribing Indicators as a mean to promote rational prescribing throughout Wales back in 2003 and the indicators have the same ethos today. Over the last 20 years, the indicators have evolved from simple measures such as monitoring the generic prescribing rate to some more complex measures covering a variety of therapeutic areas and topics. The indicators aim to be a driver for positive change, and we can use the data for benchmarking both within Wales and with England, particularly the northeast of England. So the document on the left, which we will link to after today, contains all the background and evidence for the indicators, as well as health board level data. We also have a quick reference guide shown on the right, which includes a one page summary for each of the indicators and um, highlighting the measure being used for monitoring, any aim or targets associated with it, suggestions for how you can make changes and links to resources available to help. So currently there are four priority areas within the indicators, which I'm going to mainly focus on today, supported by two domains of safety and efficiency. The safety domain includes prescribing safety indicators, hypnotics and anxiolytics, and yellow card reporting. And the efficiency domain includes best value biological medicines and low value for prescribing. So the first priority area of analgesics in primary care includes indicators covering the prescribing of opioids, including high strength opioids, as well as tra tramadol on its own, and also gabapentin and pregabalin. So the aim of these indicators are to ensure the appropriate use and review of these analgesics, minimising the potential for dependence, diversion, misuse and adverse drug reactions. The indicators support the aims of the Welsh Government Living with Persistent Pain Guidelines, and to further support in this area, the All Wales Pharmacological Management of Pain Resources has recently been endorsed by AWMSG. So the second priority area is anticoagulants and atrial fibrillation to support the uh, appropriate anticoagulation of patients and ensure that they receive anticoagulant reviews in a timely manner. The indicators support the Stop a Stroke initiative, which I believe is running across all health boards, but also the Sentinel Stroke Audit, which collects secondary care data from across the UK to monitor how well stroke care is being delivered in the NHS. The audit has been running for quite a number of years now and includes a huge range of measures, including whether patients with AF were anticoagulated prior to experiencing a stroke. Moving on to antimicrobial stewardship, the two indicators here look at total antibiotic prescribing as well as broad spectrum antibiotic prescribing, which is the, the four C's of colomoxiclav, cathlosporins, quinolones and clindamycin. These indicators help with the aims of the UK Antimicrobial Resistance National Action Plan, which recommends a 25% reduction in the use of antibiotics by the end of March 2024 from, from a baseline of 2013. As with everything else, COVID and the recent strep A outbreak has had an effect in this area, but hopefully this year will be more stable and back to the seasonal norms you would expect with antibiotic prescribing. And again, to support and help in this area, there are AWMSG primary care antimicrobial guidelines, which are updated regularly and, avail and are available on our website. And we also have numerous audits available if you'd like to look at prescribing habits and trends in your own practice. The final priority area, which was newly introduced in April 2022, is the decarbonisation of inhalers. This indicator monitors the percentage of dry powder and soft mist inhalers as a proportion of all inhalers prescribed, with the aim of increasing the percentage of DPIs, as these have a significantly lower global, global warming potential. Of course, if the patient isn't able to use a the DPI, then they shouldn't be switched. But when starting an inhaler now, DPI should really be considered first. So this indicator supports the aims set out in the NHS Wales Decarbonisation Plan, which covers a whole range of actions for the NHS, including a target to increase the proportion of low global warming inhalers prescribed to 80% by 2025. So many Scandinavian countries have levels in the 70 or 80%, whereas the UK as a whole has a much lower rate of prescribing. And if you're a practice who's part of the Greener Practice Wales initiative, then I'm sure you'll but, uh, well aware of the various work streams going on in this area, but if not, it could be something that you'd like to look into. 
So in order to um, help you uh, determine how well your practice or your cluster or your health board is doing with all of these indicators, we have the online interactive dashboard called Spira um, providing uh, data at all sorts of levels for you. So um, here's an example of the decarbonisation dashboard, which provides lots of information um, about inhaler prescribing um, and the, the carbon footprint associated with it within your practice. And again, we can send you a link to Spira after today's meeting. Um, we also have dashboards looking at all of the individual um, all of the other individual indicators from a health board perspective. Also, you can drill down into your local cluster and you can also drill down into your um, individual practice. Um, I appreciate this dashboard is quite small, but if you can see the different color spark lines there, um, you can see that when the line is blue, it means the threshold or target is being met. When the line is orange, it means that the threshold or target isn't being met. So that's just a, a really brief whistle stop tour uh, of the national prescribing indicators, but hopefully it's sort of wet your appetite. Um, and there's lots, lots of further information on our website if you want to have a look. Thanks.